Good day, amigos. You know, um, there, there's going to be times when you may be asked to remove old lettering, and it can be done, but it has to be done very carefully because, of course, you don't want to uh, mess up the finish on the guy's nice truck. So I'm going to go through a little step-by-step -step on how to remove the lettering on this here truck, and remember, every job is different because they could have used... Um, uh, urethane enamels or one shot and, and sometimes you don't know that when you do the job you in fact you don't even know until it's time to do the job so what I'll do is I'll get the job I'll start off by just getting a little wet and um, I used to use Bon Ami cake soap they don't make this anymore I have a few bars left maybe uh, 30 bars and I don't use them for this kind of stuff this is my baby but I use this stuff in the powdered form and what I do with this it's um, put a little on a wet rag with Windex and what I'm basically doing is opening up the paint I'm getting off all the little white um, thing you'll see a little paint on the rag as you're doing this and you're not you're doing it ever so lightly to just what I call um, you're just opening up the top layers of paint so you do that real easy. Just get her going. Okay. Now I have 800 grit sandpaper, wet or dry, and awa water. I wet it up a little bit, and I'm just with my little fingers I'm gonna sand on the painted lettering only. just to start to break off or sand off the paint. But like I said, I'm only staying on the painted area. You don't want to go into this area because you will uh, you'll do bad things. So you don't want to do that. Just stay on the painted lettering only. This takes a little time and you have to have a little patience but that's the way it goes. So after you've sanded on it, you'll start to break through the aluminum leaf a little bit, and then you go back to the uh, Bonami soap, not Ajax, Bonami, because on the can it says, little chicky, and it says, hasn't scratched yet. Gotta get the little chicky, el gallo chico. And then you, you work on it with a wet cloth with your Bonami. And it takes time. It's not something that you're going to get done real quick. So you might as well plan on being in the shop doing this all day. Or you could just call an auto detailer. But what fun is that to have somebody else do this uh, work? Okay, and now we're going to do the very nasty thing. Easy off oven cleaner, extra heavy duty. Uh, the active ingredient in this product is lye. Lye will burn your skin, cause you to go blind, and uh, very bad things. But we also use it to take the lettering off. And I've masked off a great deal of the vehicle, including the stainless steel, aluminum, things like that, because it will um, cause the finish to turn white. It'll, it'll kill it. So you take your Easy Off Oven Cleaner, shake it up, baby. Stand back because you don't want to get, you don't want to inhale this stuff, it's very bad stuff. Stand back, see how far back, and just a little bit at a time, you don't flood it out. You just put it on there a little bit on at a time. Almost like uh, you spray painting a, a wall or something. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna go do the other. Just about there. And now for the next step, you better wear gloves because if you don't put gloves on, your fingernails will turn yellow and you'll look like, um, you'll look like some crackhead or something. Okay, time for the next step. Here we have an old uh, gift card that I got. It's not good anymore. And here we have just a little rag. 
And if you go like this, you will notice like, look it, the paint is coming off. What a milagro. But of course you wipe it off with a little rag. This part's gonna be a little tougher because we have a lot of layers. We have an outline on top of some of the old leaf and then a drop shade. But it's the same principle. The easy off oven cleaner will um, get a little closer. We'll get that paint off. Now you never want to do this on a repainted truck because more than likely you will ruin the finish. This truck is a factory finish and it has a clear coat. If you try to do the same method on a repaint, you will have in the area where the Easy Off uh, oven cleaner is at like a dark clouded area. So don't, don't ever do this on a repaint. See, it's coming off. It's not easy. Just like Ringle Star says, you know it just ain't easy. Uh huh. Got to sing the blues if you want it done. There are lots of uh, rubbing and scrubbing with the Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Uh, there's still a few little its and bits of paint that weren't really affected by the oven cleaner or because it's got an outline with a drop shade and the clear, it, it just took a bit to get on there. So I use again, once again, my Bonami with a little wet rag and I kind of work off those little parts that didn't come off. Because sometimes that's all they need is just a little extra rubbing on there. And of course, once again, you're just working on the, the uh, lettering enamel because you, you don't want to rub this too much. You might, you might do bad things. Okay, just about getting all that stuff off. Looking pretty good. Okay, almost there. Almost there, but not quite. It's a few more steps. A few more little important steps. Some of the easy up oven cleaner dripped in the areas where I wanted, didn't want it to go at, but that's okay. But one more thing, two more things, maybe three. Not too bad. Ah, what a lot of work. See my breath? It's cold in here. Okay, so now we have the uh, magical buffer with the variable speeds, the little Makita. And the good stuff, which is um, 3M Ultra Fine Machine Polish. Yeah, this, you put a little bit on your thingamabobber here. Now you can put a little more here. I'm not like a professional buffer, so I'm sure a lot of you guys that really do this buffing stuff all the time are probably thinking that, you know, I'm not doing it right. But what is right? And Looks like we're all done now, ready to go, ready for the new lettering. And um, there is, of course, a very slight ghost image of the old lettering on here, but when I put on the new lettering, you won't see that. It'll be covered up by the new lettering. Thank goodness. Um, the products we used again, of course, was the Bonami soap, although I just used the uh, powdered form because you can't buy this anymore. I wish Bonami would make this again. And then I use the Easy Off Oven Cleaner to get off the lettering. And the 3M Ultra Fine Machine Polish polishing stuff with the buffer, my little friend. 
So there you go. So, you know, overall, if a customer um, asks you to take the lettering off, you've got to let them know ahead of time that it's not going to look like the way it looked when it came out the factory. You're still going to have that ghost image, but this is just another way of, a, of having to redo the lettering without having to actually repaint the doors. Repainting the doors would cost more, but it would be perfect. This is a uh, low-cost way that they can uh, change the lettering on a truck and put a new name. So there you go. So if I can do it, you can do it because, uh, you know, it doesn't take that much talent to do this. Just a soft, light touch. There you go. All right. Talk to you later. See ya. There you go. That's it.